So today I'm reviewing Almond by One Pyong. I said it right. Oh, Pyong, One Pyong Son. Hi, I'm Dobby, but you can call me Dobbs. So today I'm reviewing Almond by One Pyong Son. So I read this book for the Koreadathon, which it was a readathon based on Korean culture and books celebrating Korean culture, um, which I did a reading vlog and a TBR of, which you guys can check out if you want. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I read this book for the prompt, read a book with a person on the cover. That was like the prompt. There were four. And this is one of the books that I chose. So this book is about a boy named Yunje, and he has no emotions. He has a, a rare disorder that causes him to not be able to feel emotions. And it's about him and what his life is like and him trying to live a somewhat normal life with his disorder. Um, after a situation happens, he gets into a one-sided fight with this boy named Kon because it's, it's one-sided because he doesn't try to fight back which might be his peculiar first step to making his first friend. So I ended up enjoying this book. It was very interesting for me at least to see what a life would be like without emotions. And like, this is like normal daily life, kind of normal <laughs> daily life. And I get to see what it would be like without emotions. And it really puts into perspective for me how important feelings are on a daily basis, even the ones that you might not like, like sadness or anger, how those are like still important. And yeah. So there is a reason why this book is called Almond. And I want to talk about it, but like I don't want it to be like a spoiler, even though it's not really a spoiler, because I kind of want you guys to like figure it out yourselves. Because when I first read why it's called Almond, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so if you do end up reading the book, you guys can figure out why it's called Almond. Um, but I feel like the title, it was like, when I first picked up the book, I was like, I wonder why it's called Almond. And it kind of made me want to read the book more in a way. And so I thought that was kind of a cool addition. So this book was translated from Korean. Like it was originally written in Korean and it was translated into English. And I haven't read like the original Korean version, but I think that the translation is like pretty good. I, to me, it seemed pretty like smooth and natural, like natural, like English reading or writing and like books because there's some books where Korean translation can be a little weird, like grammar and description and some other things can be a little off. But I think for this book, it was pretty good, though. I'm not sure how accurate it actually is because I haven't read the original version, but I think it's good. Also, relating to that, since this book was for the Koreadathon, I feel like this book didn't show too much Korean culture besides maybe like some food here and there and like some like little things. But I feel like it showed more Korean book style and like Korean book genre and writing style in this story because it, it kind of had that like k-drama vibe not really but like i don't know why to me at least it had like that kind of like k-drama vibe yeah movie like it's like normal it's like a normal movie plus a little bit of like action kind of action like violence like that kind of stuff and i feel like that had they had like korean media or like movies put into it even if it didn't have any obvious korean culture like so it was impressive um how the author filled up this entire book without making the main character feel anything because i feel like in most books if it's a first person pov or like first person perspective a lot of the book is going to be filled up with how the character was feeling at that time descriptions of like showing or telling how the character was feeling because of this and in this story there was none of that it was just descriptions of what was happening and what the character was thinking and it showed what the character should be feeling like if something good happened you could see that they're supposed to be feeling happy but the author like couldn't write that they were happy because like the main character doesn't have feelings 
Um, so I thought that was really impressive how they got an entire book without mentioning feeling, without mentioning the main character feeling anything at all. Um, but you could tell, like, you could feel at least, like, I could feel or the reader would know or feel what the main character was supposed to be feeling at that time. Like, this happened and they're supposed to be sad. Like, they're supposed to be angry. Yeah. So overall, I gave, <laughs> I gave this book 4.25 out of 5 stars. And this is because I have a reason for this. So it's higher than 4 stars. Because 4 stars for me is like, I like this book. It was really well done. Maybe there was one thing I didn't like about it or it just wasn't memorable or something like that. And the thing about this book is it is memorable. It's just not really like my style. It's not my like type of book, even though I really did enjoy it. And I don't think it goes all the way up to 4.5, which is like really getting really close to my favorites. So I just put it in 4.25. Um, but anyways, um, I thought that this book was very different from a lot of books that I have ever read, but it was different in a good way, and it made me think and feel when the main character couldn't, and I love this book. So that'll be the end of my book review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, then like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, happy reading! And after a situation happens... Mm, you keep distracting me! I'm gonna punch you. Okay. Is about a boy named Yunje and um <laughs> So this book <laughs> So this book is about a boy named Yunje and he <laughs> So <laughs> Can you pause it? So this book <laughs> So this book is about So this book is about a boy named <laughs> I can't I don't know what that is. A few moments later